I love my hanging baskets. They're beautiful. They're a wildlife attractant. There's constantly hummingbirds and butterflies and bees all over these baskets. However, a downfall to that is I have to water these every single day, if not twice a day. When it's above 95 degrees, I'm out here in the morning and in the afternoon watering, so these do not wilt. I have a solution to that thanks to our friends at Inkway. We're gonna use the power of the sun to water these baskets. This is a step-by-step -step guide of how to install a solar-powered irrigation system. Hey, I'm Dr. Tom Warren, and you're watching The Plant Doctor. Let's get started. So if we're gonna water with the power of the sun, the first thing we need to do is set up our solar panel that's been provided to us by our friends at Ankway. This whole system has the clock, the plumbing, everything that you see here. I'll leave a link down in the description below. And if you're subscribed to the channel, look down there. There'll also be a discount code. So if you wanna use this system in your yard, you'll get a discount for doing so. Compliments of our friends at Ankway and for watching The Plant Doctor. But you wanna choose a south facing wall, a south facing post like we see here, or even a south facing window would work. You want this solar panel to be facing due south so it gets the maximum amount of sunlight throughout the day. So I have this mounted on a six by six post. It comes with a bracket. We just screwed two screws in the back of the bracket to support it. And on either end of our solar panel, there's a wing nut and we can pivot our solar panel back and forth. So I'm gonna slightly angle it upwards. And so this wire that you see here below the solar panel is going to run to our clock. So let's take a look at the clock and let's talk about how we're gonna hook up our plumbing to the clock. So how this is going to work, this wire comes from that solar panel that we just installed and it runs to our clock and our pump here. So this clock, we can set a watering time and then we can set an interval time. So when do we want the clock to come on? And then how long do we want it to run once the clock is on? On the underside of our clock, there's two ports. There's an in and there's an out. So on the in valve, what you're going to do is attach this. So there's a couple of things going on here. This end is going to go down in this five gallon bucket that's going to hold our water. I'm gonna fill this all the way up to the top with water. So whatever water holding device you wanna use, whether that's a bucket or a Rubbermaid or something else, you've got to make sure that your pipe is long enough to get to the bottom of your water source. At the end of that pipe, you're going to attach this filter. Because if you think about it, There'll be leaves and bugs and things that drop down in here and we don't want to suck that up into our pipe and then it gets in our pump and our pump's clogged, okay? On the other end, there's an anti-siphon device. So this is going to keep the pipe from siphoning. And so this part is going to go on the inside, the part that says in, and there's a little metal clip on it here. So we're just going to slide that on the end and then slide that clip up over the nipple to hold it in place. The other side is the out. And on the out, we have a plug on one end, and then there's a little nipple there. So that nipple, we're gonna go from this, that looks about like a half inch pipe, and then we're gonna go down the tiny drip pipe. It's about a quarter, maybe even eighth of an inch in diameter. It's real small drip. So we're going to put that on the out, and here again, we've got a metal clip, just like we had on the other one. And we're gonna secure that down over that nipple so that it doesn't come loose. My post here, if you can see, is six by six. And the holes to screw in this clock are outside the dimensions of this post. So what I'm going to do, it works out for me. I'm going to lay this discreetly on the inside of this pot. I've actually moved some other pots back that are around this post. I've got two other pots. I got a pot that goes here and a pot that goes here. All of this is gonna be sitting inside those pots. Nobody's gonna be able to see this. So I'm gonna lay this clock right here, put the end part, the, the part that sucks up the water down in the bucket that goes all the way to the bottom. And then from there on this out, we're going to run our drip line from here up the post and to our four hanging baskets. So here's our drip 
tubing that's going to run up the post. We have two spools of it that they provide in their kit. There's our nipple. And this just slides right over. You'll have to twist it on there a little bit. And that's on there pretty good. The water is going to come here, up the tubing, and to our pots. Our drip connected. It runs up this post. So we went ahead and did this. It's installed. And wherever there's a basket, what we did, this is the main line coming from the bucket. We just ran a T to it, and that T goes to a drip emitter. And our drip emitters look like this. The brown tubing goes on this end. This end down here goes into the soil. You can see the drip emitter in this pot right there. So our drip goes up this post. It's teed off to each one of these baskets. Our main line runs all the way across this beam, going all the way across the patio, across the pergola right here. And then over here, I'm gonna get up on the ladder so we can see, you can see what I did. It tees, so there's a T right here. There's our main line. And this T goes off to the bougainvilleas and this other side of the T comes down to this mixed basket, mainly petunias. So our drip irrigation is working. I don't know if you can see here, it's actually already dripping out of the basket below me. So how did we get to this point? Well, the first thing we have to do is turn on our pump. And so there's a button on the bottom, it's on off, a little black button, you just hit it. Make sure these wires that come off the pump, there's two little wires right here, go into, you see it just cut off make sure those wires are in there that is your sensor to let the pump know there's no water left in your bucket you don't want to run your pump with no water you'll burn your pump out and the pump just kicked back on so it since it was back in water the water's running again then you have to set your watering time and your watering interval so i've got my watering time set for every 12 hours you can set it for one hour two hour three hours 12 24 whatever you need to do and I'm watering for 30 minutes, and that may sound like a lot, but this pump puts out 500 milliliters of water per minute. So we're not putting out just a ton of water here, so you need to water for an extensive amount of time in order to get adequate water on large baskets like I have here. If you're just watering little four inch pots or half gallon pots, you can probably do five or 10 minutes and, and they'll be saturated. But for larger ones, you need to go an extended amount of time. So what would I do from here? What I'm gonna do, you may see these wires right here. We have them discreetly going across the top, but what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go get some wiring staples and I'm gonna staple these up to the post nice and tight and neat. And then from there, all we've got to do is move these pots back around and you're not even gonna see this bucket. So we've got a watering system above us here and that is going to be discreet. Nobody's even gonna know it's there. The only way you know it's there is you're on this side of the patio and you just happen to see the solar panel. I'm really pleased with it. It's, I mean, look at this, it's putting out the water. This is awesome. Now we have our pots back in place. You can't even see that five gallon bucket back there at all. The only thing you could see is the solar panel. Really pleased with this product. Please remember the links down in the description below. I would recommend getting this if you're tired of watering every single day. This is gonna lessen my workload just a little bit. And if you're a gardener like I am, every little bit helps. Guys, as always, thank you for watching The Plant Doctor. And until next time, happy gardening.